Uh, what's going on guys? We're back again. Same gym, you know. Um, I feel like this is home now, so I'm just gonna keep most of my videos here. But um, cool, I'm just gonna get it short and sweet. Got a lot of requests, so I'm gonna do a bodyweight hit workout, all right? Just to show you beginners and even people that just wanna warm up, just how to get a quick, simple bodyweight workout involving different equipment as well, all right? So, you know, sometimes you may feel like I don't wanna do like, weighted equipment or weighted workouts or whatever but coming in getting a bodyweight workout or using simple equipment that can make a big big impact that's what I'm going to show you today and I hope you guys can use that like I say with all my videos and take it and then use it to your advantage let's go all right cool guys so like I said it's going to be a hit workout today um, I'm going to keep it bodyweight all right and you know as you can see I've got these type of equipments here these are equipments that you see in every type of gym, yeah? So, you know, you may come gym, you may look at them and think, this is something I would never use, but I'm gonna show you how to get the best out of them. So then when you do come gym, you know, you're able to use these things and then say to yourself, you know what? I can make use of everything in the gym. Sometimes people's minds are just not as complex and think, you know, let me try work with this or work with that. Come out of your comfort zone and then see where your body can take you, all right? So we're gonna start off with jumping squats, all right? Let's go. I wanna be there in 10. Where and when? Big R1, I'll be there in 10. I am the boogeyman scaring men. Call out my name and I appear with Leng. Come to a video shoes in your ends. I will turn up early yard than your cameraman. Bear equipment, you'll be thinking it's them. Hold on, wait there, where? Right, so that first exercise I literally just done is what you call a squat jump, all right? So you're performing a normal squat like you would do before you squat or whatever, all right? But you include the jump included. So the way you do it is squat, and as you're coming back up, you don't reset the rep, you jump right up. So you're gonna try to elevate as much power as you go down to your depth and then jump back up. The idea of that is just to obviously, you're playing with your body weight, all right? You're seeing if your balance is cool, but you're building so much power going from your core to actually work in your whole leg. So that's a good addition just to maybe warm up before your squats. Or again, if you're not gonna squat, like plate load this up or whatever, it's good to just see where your body's at and get it going from there, yeah? All right? My animals are out raiding for you with spare intent. Why would I scrap when I'm here with skanks? Man, don't care if your ears are bent. Smith and Wesson clipping on my Glock, I will ring every 15 like Big Ben. Test me how. Phone man, phone up, let's meet now. Kick this thing off like Jet Li, bow. David Louise, absolutely foul. Don't piss me off. Alright, so that second exercise was what you call a lunge, alright? Everyone that watches my channel probably knows what a lunge is. Some of you do it walking, some of you do it just there on the spot. But what I've done is I alternated the legs, so I started with my left. I come back up and I go on my right. Now the technique is sometimes people will just literally go like this and then lean forward. But once you got that spot and you planted your foot, then you go down, all right? Once you come back up, then you reset the right and then go back on your other foot, all right? So you gotta make sure that you set your foot straight on that floor so you're good to go, yeah? Restaurant and you'll get your main chick chow. What did you think? I will scream and shout. You ain't shot nothing if you ain't seen cloud. Bet ten bags I will find these house. Walk one mumsy, it's my man about. Violate man, go to mumsy's mum's house. What I'm nan, get serious, you don't want it with man. Alright, cool. So we're still stuck on the lunch situation, but what we've done is we just added a different variation. So instead of obviously coming back, resetting the rep and then going back on the opposite foot, we kept on the same foot. It just creates a lot more tension on the quads. And at the same time, you know, if you're warming up for squats or you're doing it as maybe ending your session, you know, it just puts a lot more pressure and it allows the blood to really work on those quads, all right? And if you watch when I actually done it, it's a trial and error type of exercise. You've got to try and make sure you plant your foot in the right place because obviously some people are different heights, some people have different flexibility, whatever, but once you get your feet in the right place, then you know you can go up and down swiftly you know you don't have to side to side side to side it goes with your balance at the same time as well so trial and error get it right and then once you got it right you can go up and down swiftly and then get it done properly yeah yes big r1 i'll be there in 10 told him where and when big r1 i'll be there in 10 told him where and when big r1 i'll be there in 10 blood man i hear with scans scaring men Big Mac, I'll be there in 10 Old school, I'll be there with Sten Big black geezer is staring them Yeah, staring them They dare me, but I'm daring them Oh no, I ain't hearing them Double M, yeah, I'm here with M Clap, then it's bingo Alright, cool, so what that one was Was just squatting with a um, sandbag, alright 
it just makes it a little bit harder, all right? It just puts a lot more pressure on yourself at the same time. Because not only are you including your legs, but you're having to include your arms, having to pick it up at the same time, get it there comfortable. And then like I said, with the lunges, it's a trial and error. So making sure you get your feet, and, your, and your, uh, uh, with that shoulder width at the same time and then making sure you get the right depth as you go down and then bringing the bag back, resetting the rep and doing it again. And like I said, it's another good way. I'm literally breathing because I'm tired from that set. But trust me, that gets your whole body warm just for the future exercises to go on from there, yeah? All right? Who him? Man, that's an insult. Like insult. Chits from the man and she's here in the lingo. lingo. Back on a spider. spider. Yak and champs. That's on the rider. Uh. Tramps, I slap man a fiver. Uh -huh. 20 vans, all black with a driver. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 50 man in the back getting live. Alright, cool. So that was literally the last leg exercise for the whole body the hit workout. Alright, it was using the sandbag, sandbag again, but this time he was incorporating the lunges. So before I done it body weight, alright, but again just to add more pressure to the set, I put the sandbag involved. And then the difference at the same time is that you want to make sure it's held at the back. So again, you're using your whole body, using your core, using your arms as well to make sure it's balanced. And then at the same time, you've got to use your mind to make sure that you get the full rep. You know, so you're not, you know, not balancing and stuff like that. So again, if you use those exercises, you have different sandbags, all right? So it's not just literally the 20kg sandbag, you have lower ones as well, all right? If you can't do those ones, which is a bit more complex, then just stick to your body weight. You've got to get to know your body yeah? before you even train. When I started training, I got to know my body first. So I was sticking to my press ups, my body weight squats, my body weight lunges, my pull ups, you name it, yeah? If you don't know your body, then you can't jump onto weights because weights is a whole different level, yeah? You're having to use your core, something that you may not even have, you know, trying to get onto weights. So get to know your body first, and that's for beginners and even people that train to the same level as myself or even higher. Get to know your body first and then start having fun with the weights, yeah? Alright? Let's go. And wrap this a minor. You gas my up and that's an advisor. Switch it. Where and when I creep in the air FM. I'm sleeping in here West End. Road deep, I'll be near West End. No street fight, I know Ryu. No street fight here with Ken. No cheapness in here we spend. Road deep, I'll be near we can. I'm with Sky. No sleep, I'm in here with Spen. SM1, full heap, I'm in here with Gem. Man just spit. I'm in here with Flem. Man just dip. That's P money there again. Told him. Where and when? Big R1, I'll be there in 10. Told him. Where and when? Big R1, I'll be there in 10. All right, cool. So that was what you call box jumps, all right? So I started off with just jumping on the box, coming back down, resetting it, and then jumping back up, all right? And then the second one was just to add a little bit of a twist to it, just to pretty much finish you, which was adding a burpee just at the end. So you jump up, all right? Jump back down, get your burpee, jump back up. Same, 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 same. That's just what you call explosive power, all right? So, you know, if you're struggling with getting a big squat, struggling with getting a big bench, struggling with your stamina, struggling with just overall strength in your body, these are the things that you would do just to give you that explosive power. Obviously, there's difficulty levels, so with the plyo boxes, you have different levels. So you obviously have one that's at its smallest, and then obviously one that, uh, that's at its biggest. Usually, there's about three in every gym you see, all right? So, what I had just done, if you can't obviously jump to that level, I can understand it at the same time. So you can obviously get one that's actually smaller and just work your way up, work your way up, work your way up. And then see how you get on from there, yeah? All right? All right, cool. So that's all done, yeah? Just a simple, how can we call it? Just a hit workout, but at the same time, a way of just saying, if I can't do plate loaded squats, this is what I can do to literally target all my legs, all right? So, you know, we started off with the bodyweight squats, bodyweight lunges, then we added the sandbags involved, and then we got the box jumps included with burpees. Those things is what gives you the explosive power, it's what helps you achieve those squats, it's what helps you enable yourself to go downstairs or go to attack those plate loaded equipment as well, yeah? All right? It was short and sweet. Try it, let me know, all right? Um, you know, again, like I said, it's difficulty level, so some of you may be able to do it, some of you may not be able to do it, but try it, yeah? You can always start somewhere, all right? And then work your way up and get to the top, all right? So I'm gonna try to keep these hit videos coming, all right, because it's something that's being requested a lot, and plus it gives it, you know, it brings a different audience as well to the, to the, um, to the channel as well. So yeah, man, I'm gonna keep it up, all right? And then make sure you lot try it. ETM to the world, baby, see you soon.